Last summer, PK and Shakira announced their breakup after 12 years together. But the process got out of control and a real scandal broke out between the footballer and the singer. In this video, we've gathered all the hottest details of the celebrity breakup and we'll explain why these two hate each other. Subscribe to our channel and let's get started! Remember those bright and carefree times without wars and COVID? The times when we were waiting for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. That is when Shakira and Pique met for the first time on the set of the official World Cup song Waka Waka. It was the beginning of their story, the result of which was two beautiful children, Milan and Sasha. However, after 12 years together, the couple broke up with a terrible scandal, and it looks like it won't subside for quite some time. We regret to confirm that we are separating. For the well-being of our children, who are our highest priority, we ask that you respect their privacy. This official statement was made by the couple last June. The area's media immediately began to dig up the reasons for that decision and most versions boil down to the fact that Pickett cheated on Shakira. The other day, he published the first photo with his new girlfriend, Clara Chia Marty. The Page Six tabloid claims that the 23-year-old student had an affair with a player when he was in a relationship with Shakira. In 2021, Gerard was giving an interview on Twitch at his home and Clara got into frame. At that time, Shakira was traveling with her children and wasn't in Barcelona, so the appearance of the stranger in their house raised suspicions, to put it mildly. It was an unforgivable blow to the singer, and judging by her interview, she holds a great grudge against Piquet. One of the two had to make that effort and that sacrifice, and I did it. I put my career in second gear and I came to Spain to support him so he could play football and win titles. And it was a sacrifice of love, Shakira said in an interview. The singer was also outraged that Piquet didn't wait for them to resolve all their problems and appeared in public with a new girlfriend. Not too long ago, a Spanish media outlet even released photos of the two kissing in the Summerfest Sardania festival in Catalonia. I think that those details are somehow too private to share, at least at this very moment. Everything is so raw and new. I can only say that I put everything I had into this relationship and my family. Shakira commented on the story with Gerard's new girlfriend. There is another version of what was the main reason for the breakup. It was told by Roberta Garcia, Shakira's sister's ex-boyfriend, in an interview with a Spanish as Diario. According to him, PK asked the singer to make a large investment in one of his businesses. The Colombian refused, and this allegedly caused a rift in their relationship. Be that as it may, this version doesn't seem very plausible. Gerard is probably not a very poor person to ask someone for money to invest in business. Shakira, as befit the singer, is very good at conveying her feelings through music. So, for example, in 2017, she dedicated the song Me Enamore to Piqué, which means I fell in love. And last April, in the song Te Felicito, which translates as I congratulate you, Shakira included a rather transparent message don't tell me you're sorry, I know you well, and I know you're lying. When an interviewer asked if these words were a reference to a real-life situation, the singer said, when the glove fits, it fits. She also expressed her negative emotions towards her ex-partner through another song. The singer's latest track has the following lyrics. I'm worth two 22s. You traded a Ferrari for a Twingo. You traded a Rolex for a Casio. A lot of gym, but work your brain a little bit too. However, this punchline caused a reaction from Piquet, which in turn caused a real media explosion. On one of the following live broadcasts, Gerard came with a Casio watch and showed it to the camera, saying, We have reached an agreement with Casio in the King's League to sponsor us. Casio is a great watch, it lasts a lifetime. Basically, the ex-Barca player turned Shakira's message into a PR campaign for his football championship. Quite a toxic response, right? Credit should also be given to the Casio company, which took advantage of the media hype surrounding the situation. At first, they wrote, Shakira, we may not be a Rolex, but clearly our customers are loyal to us. 
It was a powerful attack against the singer who crushed the company's stocks with her lyrics. But they didn't stop there. There was another post with the text. In defense of our Casio watches, the battery lasts longer than Piquet and Shakira relationship. As for Piquet, he didn't limit himself to just a watch. After the song release, Gerard drove to work in the Renault Twingo, which Shakira also refers to. From these media communication, it's clear that both Shakira and Pika don't have the best feelings for each other, otherwise they wouldn't wash their dirty linen in public. All this was a particularly hard blow for Shakira, who in addition to the breakup, is also facing accusations of tax evasion in Spain. The singer may be stripped of about 15 million euros in taxes. At the same time, the singer's father was in hospital in serious condition. And what's all surreal is the disappointment to see something as sacred and as special as I thought was the relationship I had with my kid's father and see that turned into something vulgarized and cheapened by the media. And all of this while my dad has been in the ICU and I've been fighting on different fronts. This is probably the darkest hour of my life," Shakira admitted. Add to this the need to explain to the children why their family broke up and it makes the situation even worse. Yeah, I try to conceal the situation from the children as much as I can. It's really upsetting for two kids who are trying to process their parents' separation. And sometimes I just feel like this is all a bad dream and that I'm gonna wake up at some point. But no, it's real, the singer said. As you can see, Shakira gave a lot of comments about these events. But Gerard has never commented on the breakup, except for the ambiguous responses to the song with the watch and the car. Some light on the ex-football player's position was shed by Marca, which reported that Gerard is angry with the ex and believes that she's playing a victim. However, they didn't manage to get a single quote from Piquet. When it rains, it pours. This idiom is popular for a reason. As soon as the star couple's conflict appeared in the media, New evidence began to emerge that things weren't going well in the family for a long time. In particular, a video of six years ago in which Pika's mother grabs Shakira's face, says something to her and points her finger to shut up began to gain popularity. The situation doesn't look too good. First of all, it doesn't look like the mother-in-law is kidding when she does something like that to Shakira. And secondly, the lack of reaction from Gerard, who didn't stand up for his partner and took everything for granted, is startling. Folks, whose side are you on in this conflict? Leave your favorite Shakira song if you support the singer or your favorite PK football moment if you support Gerard in the comments below. And be sure to check out our other videos that you see on your screen right now.